How's it going everyone? The Salamander Man here. And this video is the next installment in a series in which I document my adventures, where I give everyone a close-up look at the animals that I encounter, especially my favorite, salamanders. So in today's video, we are going to go looking for the Northern Dusky Salamander. So, the Northern Dusky Salamander. How do we find this salamander and what are we looking for? Well, just like the two-lined salamander that I featured in the previous video in this series, it too is also a semi-aquatic salamander. So, we will have to look for the appropriate habitat, which would be a stream. Now, also like the two-lined salamander, the dusky salamander is a lungless salamander, meaning that it breathes through its skin. So its skin is very sensitive and has to stay moist. So they won't be found too far from the streams that they populate. Now all you have to do is flip over a few flat rocks, small branches around the stream, and it will be unmistakable, a very large, stocky built salamander. And this stream right here is where we will begin our search. So we are going to begin looking for our target salamander, the Northern Dusky. And it should be noted that two-lined salamanders are also present in this stream. So more than likely we'll find both species here, and of course I'm going to give you guys a close-up of both of them. And the differences in coloration and size are going to be quite obvious. Both very beautiful salamanders, the two-lined with that golden yellowish bronze-like coloration to it, and then the large stocky build of the Northern Dusky with that muddy brown coloration. And there's also the long-tailed salamander present here, much less common, but we're going to look for the dusky salamander right now, so let's dig in and get to it. Okay, so these branches right here, I actually just flipped one of them, and there's a very large dusky salamander underneath one of them. So I'm going to get my camera set up, and I'm going to give you all a very good look at this beautiful and very large salamander. Now, we just got to see an incredibly large dusky salamander, but under this branch right here, there's also another slightly smaller dusky salamander that I will give you guys a close-up of as well. And so, not too far away from where I just found this dusky salamander. I also just landed a two-line salamander. So let me give you guys a close-up of this beautiful salamander as well. Now, we just got to see a really good close-up look of all three of these salamanders. And there's actually plenty of other two-lined salamanders and duskies that I found all around this stream. They're just so plentiful at this location here. And we got to see the striking differences in terms of coloration and the stocky build of the dusky salamander, especially when compared to the slender two-lined salamander. And yet, both salamanders being unique from one another they lead very similar lifestyles, both being semi-aquatic, lungless salamanders, both starting off as aquatic gilled larvae that are dependent upon a cool, clean-flowing stream such as this, and then eventually morphing into the semi-aquatic adult that we just got to see. 
we got to see three beautiful salamanders, two dusky salamanders and one two-line salamander. And we got to see the striking differences between the two species, even though they populate the same environments and live very similar lifestyles, they are still very unique in their own right. And so before I end the video here, I'm gonna share with you guys a photo that I was able to take of a long tail salamander that I was able to find. And in my experience, they are much less common and very skittish. And unfortunately it did get away, so I was unable to get it on video. But again, I'm gonna share that photo with you guys right now. So at this point, I'm gonna say goodbye. And until next time, I am the Salamander Man.